Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel guys, if you are new here, welcome and if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and get a message from your ancestors and your angels, okay. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone, just take the parts that resonate for you Virgos and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos, okay? I hope that everybody had a good weekend. For those of you in the UK, I hope that you enjoyed your Mother's Day, okay? Um, but let's jump in and see what Spirit has for you today. What is the message for Virgo here today? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. My Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus. Alright, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. And for going forward. Thank you. At the bottom of the deck, Virgos, we have perfect timing. It says this is the right time for you to move forward. And then we have right behind it, everything's okay. It says don't worry, it's all working out in a beautiful way. Whatever this is, uh, some of you, this may be something that is quite tricky, right? Because it looks like this fairy is kind of walking along a spider web. And it sounds like she's very focused on, you know, um, executing this. Um, so for some of you, Spirit wants you to know that even if a situation does seem a little bit tricky, right? It says you've got the power. It says use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it. Okay. So the first card that we have coming out here, it says do some research. It says you need more information about this situation. It says look into it further before proceeding. So it's almost like this energy for some of our girls, okay? Um, maybe this is kind of like an energy where spirit is saying, hey, listen, don't just jump from the frying pan into the fire. You know, find out a little bit more about this situation. So it's almost like um, the vision they're giving me, it's almost like somebody wanting to, uh, it's just an example, somebody wanting to open a shop, okay? But you, you pay the rent, you get the keys, and then you open the shop. But you, what about your supplies? Who's going to supply whatever you're selling, right? Um, what companies are you going to use? That kind of energy, you know. Is there any other shops in that area that kind of are selling what you're going to sell? It's that kind of energy here. And I'm also hearing for some of you, don't write something off just yet. Don't give up on something. Because it could be a situation that can be resolved. What is the card going forward? It says, easy does it. It says, stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. Okay. So what is this for my Virgos? Do some research. So my Virgos, you need to make sure that you're not allowing ego and pride to get in your way of doing something here. And also for some of you, there's this kind of energy, especially with that, um, I thought I saw the five of cups, you know, easier said than done. But try not to let things that disappointed you from the past kind of hold you back, okay? Wise, do some research here for my Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Give me a clear message. Okay. Yeah, so there's that five of cups that I thought I saw. So it says things not turning out the way you'd hoped. It says not seeing the positive in a situation. It says crying over spilled milk. Show me more. You have unity. And it says traditional viewpoints or methods. It says spiritual organization. It says seek out mentors and like-minded friends. So some of you, maybe you are kind of like doing some research here or maybe like spirituality. Maybe you're getting, you know, 
to understand that a bit more. Maybe you're feeling like you resonate with spirituality, especially for those of you where maybe you grew up in a religious situation or family. I'm hearing in the church. <laughs> Show me more. You have awakening, yeah. Awakening, it says, look at things from a different perspective. It says a temporary standstill. It says it's important to be yourself here. So again, with this energy of easy does it, right? Kind of just going forward, being your authentic self, going with the flow. And like it says, not forcing anything and not trying to be someone else. You know, it's kind of this energy where it's almost like I always like to use the example Marmite. It's either people are going to love you or they're going to hate you. But show me more. Because this uh, five of water and the awakening card, some of you, you know, you may be learning something about someone. OK, with we'll the do more research here. Maybe you found something out about someone um, or a situation that has very much disappointed you. This could definitely be in a work situation here. Maybe some of you are walking away from a certain job. Eight of, eight of pentacles and the release card. For some of you, you may even be kind of walking away or ghosting someone here that you was in a relationship with. You could have been in a relationship with this person for a long time, maybe up to eight years. And there's others on my Virgos where I feel like there is something that maybe you're wanting to let go of because maybe it's not going in your favor when it comes to your craft, your business, your career here. And maybe you're kind of thinking that, you know, I'm just going to let this go. Yeah, it's almost like I don't know if something here is stressing you out, but I don't know if you should walk away just yet. But show me more, spirit. For my Virgos, what is the unity? Yeah, the release card came out and I'm looking at the number five and I'm feeling like some of my Virgos, you're just desiring some sort of change right now. Or like I said, maybe that you are experiencing a lot of changes happening. And it could even be in your mindset, right, where you're just kind of looking at things differently or you're kind of looking at life differently. And maybe some of you are just getting to that point. I heard maturity. <laughs> some of you may just be getting, you know, older and you're kind of just wanting to plant roots. But release, it says the end of a phase or situation. It says spiritual transformation, time to move on. Some of you are outgrowing people, family members. Like I said, some of you, you've been in relationships for a long time and you just don't kind of see it moving anymore. Give me one more. And we have a queen of wands coming out here. Okay, so again, with this energy of... um. What did it say? Yeah, you've got the power is what we just want to looking for. So the Queen of Wands, right, is that energy where spirit is saying, hey, listen, right, for some of you, yes, it's time to move on. Maybe some of you are moving away from a fire sign, take care, it resonates. Maybe you just have fire highly aspected in your chart. But the Queen of Wands, it, it talks about whether you're male or female, it talks about you having the confidence to take whatever action this is, okay? It says, stretch your wings and fly. It says, don't underestimate yourself. It says, assert your independence and creativity. I'm also hearing something about some of you, where is this energy where you're going to be stepping into some sort of spotlight. It's almost like they're showing me somebody shedding the old skin and coming out as this brand new, almost like the rising phoenix, right, kind of an energy. Some of you, whatever decision this is, you know, it could have been a very complex decision to make, right? Maybe some of you was at energy of at the crossroads for a while, right? Do I go left? Do I go right? What do I do? But whatever this action is, Spirit is saying, hey, listen, if you need to get more information, then do so. It says a complex decision. It says the need to do research. It says stop procrastinating. For some of you, this is an energy where you have to fight for something. Nine of Wands. But you see with the Knight of Pentacles, it talks about time to buckle down. 
It talks about making practical decisions here. Long-term decisions. Six of Swords, the energy of moving to calmer waters here. And I feel like some of you are going to be excited about going on this new journey here with the Page of Wands. Well, there's good news going forward. What is this easy does it? You have the Queen of Pentacles. Which is your energy. We have the Five of Pentacles. I'm also getting for some more Virgos where you need to kind of learn how to almost want to say distribute your energy equally. OK, because some of you may be so focused on your finances, your stability, right, your money, that it's almost like spirit saying, hey, listen, you're still going to kind of make what it is that you need to make. OK, but. This Queen of Pentacles in this deck, it talks about make time for those around you. It says take a sensible approach and it says deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner here, Virgos. And I'm just looking at this card and it's almost like this woman is pointing to like a pot of gold. So again, I feel like some of you are really focused on your finances, your savings, right? You just don't want to be in that energy of a lack, and I don't feel like you would be, right? You've got the five of pentacles coming out here and it talks about fears surrounding money. It says the wisdom to accept help from others and it says uncertain self-employment. Yeah, I feel like some of you are so super worried about your finances here where you might not be making time to do other things or spend time with other people, whether that's your children, whether that's family members, whether that's parents, whether that's just you taking some sort of time out just to put into you, right? So that energy of self-care and self-love. Show me more about Easy Does It. Thank you, Spirit. You have the Page of Pentacles turning over. Yes, this is what spirit is saying, you know, don't worry so much about your finances here. It says good news about financial matters. It says wanting to do something more challenging. It says a new area of study. A lot of green over here, Virgos. So again, this energy of grounding yourself. Maybe getting out in nature. Maybe some of you have to include more, I was going to say green foods into your diet, but I just heard colors. Show me more. What is easy, does it? Ten of Pentacles, release the worry. Spirit says everything that you want, I don't even want to say want, I want to say everything that you need. I feel like when it comes to your finances, spirit says things are under control here. Five of earth to the ten. There's an improvement here in finances. But it's almost like this energy where they're showing me somebody just going, ah, oh, like relaxing their shoulders. It says a very happy family life. It says financial security. It says finding magic in the finding magic in the little things in life. And you see these two like fairies and you've got two little kids there playing as well. And you see that they're out in nature. And all four of these cards are green. Another green card. <laughs> yeah, for some of you, you have, um, you may work very closely with like Archangel Michael. Give me one more for easy does it. Yeah, some of you, I just saw 14, 10 on the clock, okay? And I, it made me think of 5 and 10. So again, for some of you, or even if I took away the 0 and we had 5 and 1, there's definitely some sort of changes coming when it comes to your finances, okay? Give me one more. It's almost like something here is very much protected for you. What was that? The Two of Cups. Hmm. Some of you, you may be in a relationship where there may be a lot of arguments about finances here, okay? 
or when things get a little bit rocky with finances, maybe it kind of causes some, it kind of rocks the boat. Some of you, you may feel like you're under a lot of stress with the emperor energy out here. Right? You may have a lot of responsibilities. Give me one more. What is the message here for my Virgos, from their ancestors and their angels? Thank you, Spirit. Page of Cups. So two of Cups, Page of Cups. I feel like your ancestors is very much number one, saying that you are very much loved here, Virgos, okay? But the Page of Cups um, can talk about, we just saw the two of Cups, it can talk about a new person that is wanting to come into your life, okay? Uh, maybe you are wanting to go towards someone, but again, maybe you feel like you don't have enough to give to the situation. Spirit says that's not the way you're supposed to be looking at it. So it says a new person enters your life. It says a relationship begins a new phase. It says heightened psychic abilities. For some of you, when it comes to your finances, it's almost like spirit is trying to give you some sort of um, um, answers or guidance Maybe when it comes to your dreams or your intuition here. So make sure you're paying attention to those. And I am hearing, especially around the moon cycles, okay? Yeah, high priestess, eight of pentacles and the justice. Things are going to work out here for whoever this is. How do you want to end this reading? Thank you, spirit. Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. It's almost like I'm hearing for someone here, you've got a lot of mouths to feed. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. How do you want to end this? Can I get two more? Wow, look at this. Okay. <laughs> Can I get two more? And one more. What are we getting stuck on? Wow. I'm seeing two. So one of them says, take a divinely guided chance. It says, all positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. It says, and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. It says, as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you. It says, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. So again, whether that's in love or relationship, but that's the third one that we're going to take. Bottom of the deck, we have bountiful nature. So let's see what we got. Oh, look at this, Virgos. Excellent. I love it. So the first one that I see here, okay, um, which to me explains a lot, it says sever vows of poverty. So again, you have to be careful of your mindset. I just saw 1818 on the clock. Um, be careful of what it is that you're saying to yourself. Be careful of what it is that you're visualizing. Be careful of staying in a low vibrational energy. And like I said, it's that energy of seeing the cup half full rather than half empty here. It says, dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. It says, hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that may make you have that or self-denial that you may have made. It says consciously or unconsciously. It says in any lifetime, as you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. So again, it's that energy of not walking around saying, damn, I don't have enough of this and I don't have enough of that. It's that energy of walking around and saying, OK, I don't have enough of this right now, but I know that spirit is going to work something out for me. I don't what in the next 24 hours in the next seven days. Right. Something it's, it's just having that mindset. Now, your second card, it says raise or promotion. So some of you definitely may, may be getting some sort of level up here, right? Maybe you was, I don't know, maybe your figures double, right? Maybe, um, like it says, you do get a promotion at work. Maybe some of you are going up to manager position. Deputy manager is also what I'm hearing. 
but it says congratulations. It says an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. It says this is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. It says keep up the good work. So it's on its way, right? That's what I'm saying. Someone goes from the five to the ten. You have windfall of abundance. It says an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. It says some of them unexpected. It says be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health and charitable work. So whenever this abundance comes in for you, Virgos, you know, it's that also that energy of, you know, don't forget to give back. OK. But that is the energy that I've picked up here today from our Virgos for a message from your ancestors and your angels. I do hope that something has resonated with you. And if it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light.